Hello friends, Travis here. In this video I'm gonna tell you all I know about another tier for skill called tailoring. This one, this one over here. Uh, first of all, as is a tradition, how the best way to level it, how you can level this skill. In the old times the best way was get the plant fibers, make simple clothes like this one and uh, make out of it this simple hats. Now let's buy the helm. That was the best way but right now it's still kind of a really good way but it's not really time effective because it takes about an hour of your real time by manually playing the other character to get about 1500 plant fibers which equals 75 uh, simple clothes which equals about 37 to 38 uh, crafts or hats and that's one hour of time that's not really effective you need about 300 crafts to fill out your power hour so the best way right now i would say gather sin leather for that you will need to build a lot of coops uh, one coop can yield about five rabbits that you can safely kill and they will be born the next day four to five rabbits just be careful you need to kill the rabbits that are either newborn age 0 to 4 I think I don't think 4 is fertile yet yes you can see it's still young and uh, from 18 to 24 or oh, yeah to 24 those are already old and won't breed so you can easily, safely kill them obviously we'll need a lot of drying racks as you can see I have a lot of hides drying on my racks and tanning tabs to make this efficient but if you do everything right, like 20 coops, uh, 50 drying racks, 50 tiny tabs, uh, you will spend about one hour of your time to get that 100 in leather. Uh, obviously, we'll need to spend two, two hours because of uh, the processing, but your real time will, you will, I think you will finish in like one hour. You should be, you should do this in one hour. After you get your sin leather, then there are a few things you can craft. As I said, uh, if you still go with the plant fiber option, which is still pretty good, at least uh, you can go with it to level until 60, your tailoring. Uh, I, I don't know if I need to show you how to get a, a plant fiber, but it's just for the sake of it. Right click on the ground, look for materials like so. Then you look for them and then a big ass bush of plant fiber will appear. I also made a guide how you can FK gather it in my video called uh, How to Level Nature's Lore Version 2. But I oh don't. No. Well, yeah, in that video you will, see, you will still understand it, how to do it. And this is how plant fiber looks. So, but it's not really effective. Even if you um, make your marker, your clicker, you will also only be able to make like uh, 2000 plant fibers a day. If you, if you leave your character gathering for like 10 to 20 hours, that's how ineffective it is. But maybe that seal will help you somewhat. So after you made your plant fiber and gather your plant fiber made simple clothes out of it, you can craft these hats. They are really effective because as you can see they only require sim two simple clothes. They yield pretty good experience. Uh, this is my food quality, I will show you how much. And you can sell them to the crown, they are really expensive. For example, this hat, this crappy hat, because uh, with 60 quality, I can sell for one silver coin and 30 copper coins to the crown. That's how expensive it is. And this is how much experience I got. And another way to level it is you need to re weaver repair toolkits and you can sew pouches. As you can see, they require only one thin leather and they yield the same amount of experience as simple clothes. So if you have 100 thin, uh, thin leather, you will have 100 crafts compared to the same compared to 37 crafts from plant fiber and you will spend approximately the same time but obviously for sin laser you will require a lot more preparation but the last thing that I need to mention the best way to level it is still is the problem with uh, leveling with pouches as you can guess is th that pouches are useless you don't need them for anything and especially in this uh, quantity that you will get them 
and that's why I would recommend you crafting regular laser, for example, regular laser, laser helm or regular laser, laser gauntlets. They yield two times more experience than pouches and they require additional, not really that hard to get materials, like hang of lining. So you can plant a build field of flax and you will get quite a bit of hangs. And you should have a lot of silver at this point. So you will be able to make. As you can see, why they are so good, not only is this tier 2 gear, which is useful by itself, but you can get blueprints for tier 3 gear, like this. I got lucky just for this week. I crafted only uh, two gauntlets and I already got a blueprint. And this helmet is pretty easy to make too. Uh, laser strips you get from recrafting thick laser. You get three strips out of one craft. It yields the same amount of experience as this hat. So you can easily craft them too. As you can see, crafting uh, regular laser gear yields you two times more experience compared to patches or novice padded helms, which pretty good. The problem is, oh, for some reason uh, the hat actually yielded two times less. Hmm. This is unexpected. For some reason, uh, making gauntlets yields two, two times more compared to hats. I don't know why. But it's not important. The problem with leather, regular leather, is you can sell it to the crown. It's really a freaking bummer, but you can get a blueprint, which is useful. You can trade them with other people, so I think that kind of mitigates the problem and makes them still more useful than pouches and maybe even hats. Though, uh, Navas by the Helms can yield you a lot of coins that will be pretty useful for you too. That's all you need to know about tailoring guys at this point. So, this is three ways you can level it. Choose the one you find the most effective for you or more effective for you in the long run. It all depends on your preferences, really. Thanks for watching. See you later.